Well, this is the IWN Duckford's Eurofighter Typhoon. It's actually one of the developmental models. Um, so a little bit different from the ones that are in service now. But it is, it's amazing because this is absolutely cutting edge technology. But first, you know, research and development of this aircraft first began in the 1980s. And it was originally designed as a fast jet interceptor to meet the threat of the MiG-29, the Soviet Union's uh, latest fighter. But of course, then the Cold War ended in 1991. And so it's actually got a multiple different roles now. It quite a little bit of teeth sucking and a, a little bit of change of plans. But it eventually came into action in the early noughties in the first part of this century. <coughs> Excuse me, and it's still in service now. And it's incredibly quick, it's incredibly versatile, and the computer technology, the modern technology on this is absolutely light years away from that wire and wood and cloth of the DH 9 and the Bristol. Uh, um, fighter plane that we saw from the First World War. And one of the things that's just so amazing about the 100 years of RAF history is just how breadth, how wide and broad that huge change has been over 100 years from cloth to this. It's quite extraordinary. I mean, this is so far, so powerful, it can fly to 60,000 feet in a minute. I mean, can you believe it? I think this plane is absolutely awesome. It's beautiful. Uh, it, it's mean, it's lean, it does exactly um, what it was designed to do. And there is a rule of thumb about aircraft design, which really always holds true. And that is that if it looks right, it usually is right. And this, well, boy, it certainly looks right.